It's interesting when somebody asks you a question that you've never really thought about. Think about what it really means to be Australian. How would you complete the phrase, I'm as Australian as? It tells me that I'm an Australian. As Australian. Australian as. As Australian as what? I mean, what is it that makes you Australian? That was the challenge put to 10 prominent Australians, and their answers range from people. My first role model was my mother. Feisty, <laughs> bossy. And places. Melbourne is filled with magic. People here make anything possible. I just get a warm feeling when I think about the Opera House. It's so beautiful. You just feel this incredible sense of pride. To moments. We're over there somewhere, and I'm not joking, but people all around us are actually bawling their eyes out. All I could think of was, I've got to go with my family. And very personal memories. And on his next admission, he died. And that just changed my whole life. They will surprise. Forgive the immodesty, but I turned out to be a half-decent player. Amuse. I'd say, am I pretty, Mum? Am I pretty? And she'd say, you're unusual. <laughs> Provoke. What I want to do is excite Australia about having the will to change. And always entertain. Welcome to the Roxy. Bear Cage's latest television production, As Australian As, is a series of ten very different half-hour stories told by ten very different Australians. I think being Australian today is like he's going through an identity crisis or something. I'm not as Australian as a dryser bone or an Akubra hat, but life, like definitions and expectations, flows on. It's just the characteristics that change. I feel Australia is a lucky country. It just means that we have to not abuse that, that luck or that opportunity, but turn it into something positive and powerful. As Australian as, Monday nights at 9.30, only on Bio.